76535 is a rock made up mostly of olivine and plagioclase and a type of pyroxene called orthopyroxene. And it is one of two rocks, actually, that came from deep within the moon. That rock probably from around 400 kilometers down from the surface and another rock, 72415, which is almost entirely all olivine, that rock came from a deeper point in the moon, probably around 500 kilometers down. Those two rocks are the only ones in the collection that people have recognized so far that uh, have, have probably come from deep within the moon as a result of a very large impact that occurred uh, about 4.3 billion years ago called Procolarum. The troctolite is very important. It has helped understand how rocks like that can come from that deep and actually be available to us to sample. You wouldn't normally have expected those rocks from that deep within the moon to uh, be av available for collection, but clearly they were, and now you have to explain why are they there. How do you calculate how far deep it came from? mainly by the assemblages of minerals that are in the, the rock and the alteration of those minerals due to a pressure change. Interestingly enough, I worked on the same kind of problem in Norway for my uh, doctorate's thesis, where rocks had, had been formed at very high pressure deep within the earth and then very rapidly brought close to the surface by the tectonic dynamics here on earth. Well, in the case of the moon, they were brought up by the impact dynamics, by the release of pressure. And when rocks formed at high pressure are exposed to low pressure, they change, they give evidence of that by how the minerals react. And that's how we can tell how deep they were originally because you see they partially changed as a result of the pressure release.